afternoon, everybody. Um, this is one of the informational videos I decided to create about fishing in general. Uh, today, the first video we're talking about, we're going to be talking about the polymer knot. The polymer knot's a great knot. I use it uh, pretty much all the time, whether I'm fly fishing, ocean fishing, uh, in lakes, tying hooks and swivels and those type of things. Um, I like the polymer knot because it actually uh, keeps the integrity of the entire line strength to use it when you tie the knot. A lot of times you tie some knots, you twist the line around and shove it through the bottom of a hole, and not through the eyelet twice, and you actually cut the line strength in half. But I'm going to go through making the polymer knot to show you how we retain that entire line strength to get a better, stronger knot. Okay? So down here, I have a couple of hooks. We'll start with this one. We want to tie one anyway. What you do is you're going to go ahead and take your line, whatever line strength it is, fish it through the eyelet of the hook, like so. And then you're going to take it. And you're gonna, I'm gonna nip that end off because it's all curly there, hard to use. Take that line, feed it right back the same direction it came from. There you go. So now you have a tag in your main line to your reel, and you have a loop over here. All right, so you're gonna take these two like this, flip it, make a half knot like such, turn it down just a little bit, and you take whatever it is your swivel, your hook, your fly, whatever it is. And you're going to slide this line all the way around and through and pull it all the way to the end. You're going to take that tag end, a little spit on there, and your main line, and you're going to start pulling on them to get them nice and tight against the eye of the hook. Once you're done, you have this completed piece here. You have the tag end and the main line. You have the line going through twice through the eyelet. That helps maintain the entire integrity strength of the knot of the line. Instead of cutting, a, say, a 12-pound test, a 6-pound test by going through it once, you'll actually get the entire strength of the line, which is 12-pound test, or 15 or whatever it may be. I'm going to cut off the tag in here, and that is ready to use super, super strong and great for any type of fishing. All right, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.